Hello everyone, Ryan from iOS Mars here today. I just wanted to show you Aurea today, a uh, little bit of a walkthrough of Aurea. I'm going to show you, um, you know, a few of the little options inside and uh, basically I'll set up a track and I'll do a little bit of recording with the audio bus here. Um, first thing I want to say about Aurea is uh, it's probably the most advanced uh, DAW that we have for iOS at this point. Uh, it, I, I honestly think it's pretty advanced even for PC but uh, so uh, obviously um, it's going to use a lot of your resources when you're when you're using Audiobus so one of the main things you're going to have to do uh, you, you have to open Audiobus first before you open Aurea and uh, up in your Audiobus settings here you're going to want to definitely make sure it's on 512 uh, if it was a little bit higher it would probably be good we could probably use it, but uh, anyhow, um, you know, uh, we're going to get into a little bit of, of the basic settings here, so I'll just click over to Aurea, and I'm, I'm going to set up a, a new project here. I just have a, this is just the project that comes with Aurea, so I'm going to click on menu here, up at the top, and uh, I'll add a new project. I'll hide this audio bus uh, panel for a second, and we'll name our project Audio Bus. Oops. Test. And there's our new project. Uh, it just comes with a few tracks, and uh, we have uh, we have two main views in in a. Uh, Aurea here we have a uh, we have a you know our our mixer view and then we have our timeline view. Uh, there's nothing in my in this brand new timeline, of course. So what I'm going to do right off the bat here is I'll just add a track inside menu. Add a track. I'm going to click stereo. Make sure it's stereo. And uh, what I've done here is I've I've made up this little drum beat in a uh, inside Beatmaker 2 a little bit earlier. Uh, so we'll load that into this here and start with my drum beat. So uh, basically, uh, let's check out these transport options up here in the in the right hand corner first, um, as these are very important to how your timeline's going to look and behave. You know, so uh, maybe you want a metronome and you want to count in when you're recording. You know, those are great things when you're recording anything from scratch. Uh, we have different time formats up here. I prefer the bars beats format. Uh, it makes it makes everything line up better for what I'm doing. Um, you know, there's a, there's there's some options here on looping and everything, which I'll I'll get into in a different tutorial. I'm not gonna do that in this one. But um let's click on menu here and we'll look we'll go to settings, the main settings of this project. And uh, as you can see there's lots and lots of options here. But uh, what I'm concerned with at the moment is this uh, time se signature and tempo down here. I'm going to leave it at 4-4 time signature, but I'm going to change this tempo to 90, 90 beats per minute. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to be working with on this uh, pre-made drum beat, so that'll help it line up here. So we have our track selected, as you can see, it highlights it in blue here when I select it. And... Uh, I'm going to click audio paste and I have my little funky drum beat here that I made up in Beatmaker so I'll just paste that in and as you can see right away everything's lining up pretty good looks good to me so let's give this a little listen pop over to my mixer here that's probably good so um yeah let's get started and record some audio so I'm just gonna click on the side here just to bring out my audio bus panel and uh, I'll pop back to the audio bus app and now I'm gonna I'll, I'll, I'll uh, record a little bit of Annie Moog over top of this drum beat, and then I'll add in something else afterwards. I 
I think uh, I think the default Annie Moog should be fine. Or uh, if you're a stickler for pronunciation, Annie Moog. I know uh, that's not the popular pronunciation, but it is apparently the correct one. Uh, I've known this for a while, but I always choose to say Annie Moog because uh, that's what uh, everybody knows it as. So, um, anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's get started on this. So I'm just going to pop back to Aurea for one second just to show you that it has indeed created an Animoog uh, channel for us here. And it is flashing record, which is the reason we can hear our Animoog right now. So uh, I, th I believe we're ready to go with this. So um, let's pop back to our Animoog and start recording something. So, so I'm just going to use the default one here. So you click this uh, record button inside the audio bus panel and it'll uh, prime us to record. It's not recording yet but as soon as we press that little play button it will start recording. So let's do that. I'll just let this play out one bar to get the timing. That should be good for now. I'll give this one second and then I'm going to click over and view what we've created here. So obviously right away it doesn't look like it recorded anything but uh, because we're zoomed in a little bit our recording is actually back here. So as you can see it obviously did record the sound and it's uh, in time with this and everything. So. Uh, you know we can we can use these uh these arrow keys here to actually uh we can sync this up so that you know we could loop this all I'll get into looping a different time let's rewind this and uh listen to it go. Uh, got a start of a song. Now let's take this a little bit further and we'll add another track in. So uh, what I'm going to do is eject my Annie Moog and I will double press the home button to bring up our, our thing here. Long press on Annie Moog and uh, click the minus to close it. And uh, uh, now how about um, well, let's use Guitarism. Since uh, this was released today, why don't we use Guitarism as our MIDI controller? And uh, maybe we'll control, um, I don't know, uh, how about a piano this time? Let's try the I Grand. We'll see how this works out. Okay, so let me pop into Aurea because um, I'm actually going to not want to record anything out of Guitarism since, the, since there's no actual sound coming out of Guitarism. So uh, just shut that off and uh, leave the I grand going. So let's go back to Guitarism now and see how this sounds. Let's select our grand piano. I'm going to turn my minimum velocity up a little bit, make this nice and loud. Good. Okay. So let's try uh, quickly here to record a little bit uh, on top of this.
and uh, all right, we're done there. So let's pop back to a uh, where are you here, where we can check out our I Grand recording. All right, let's give this a listen. You know, a little bit off time, but that's totally my fault. So there we go. That's uh, our introduction to uh, Aurea and recording a little bit of audio using Audio Bus. Uh, as I said before, you know, this uh, this does use a lot of CPU, or it does, so uh, try to keep it as uh, simple as possible. You can't leave, uh, you know, 30 apps open in the background and still expect to get a, a good sound out of it. But I would recommend probably, uh, you know, if you're going to... If you're going to record something in here, you keep it simple, one one thing at a time, and uh, do all your mixing afterwards outside of Audio Bus, and uh, everything should be good for you. So, all right, thanks a lot for uh, watching this little tutorial and uh, introduction to Aurea, and uh, you know, next time I'll come back with uh, uh, a little bit more advanced tutorials, and uh, we'll get started with some harder hard things to do. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.